act. At the end, what, what the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identities. But in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants. You all will have implants. Around 20, 2030, I would say that by then, definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore be, be the usual, kind of the most common interface. Wow. This, this, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. This, this, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. FDA approved the first... Uh, electronic pill, if I can call it like that. So it is a basically biological chip that it is in the tablet. And once you take the tablet and dissolves into your stomach, it sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that, uh, compliance. The new accounting is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy. Mm -hmm. This new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. Where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So, individual carbon footprint tracker. Individual carbon footprint tracker. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So, whatever I choose, whether in the election, or whether in the supermarket this is my free will, that's over. Free will, that's over. That's over.